All right, guys, here we are at 127 Broadleaf Drive. It's three bedroom, two bath, 1,755 square feet. House was built in 1986. You got a one car garage. A lot of shade in the front yard of trees. This house has all new LVP flooring throughout the house, new carpet on the stairs and upstairs. Um, as far as appliances in your kitchen here on the right, um, you do have stainless steel appliances, your stove, and a dishwasher, double sink. I like this, um, uh, like a box seat over here in front of the window. Um, the new cabinets are nice. Um, the countertop is not granite, um, but it, it is nice, it's in good condition. Now the refrigerator here is actually brand new. Okay, still has stickers on it and things. Still has the paperwork inside. Okay, now your stove is not brand new and your dishwasher is not brand new, um, but the refrigerator is brand new. Um, you do have a little breakfast nook right here in the kitchen. Have a little area um, that's got windows all the way around it. This home does have so much natural light in here. Okay, you have a little door here, which is like the smallest door I've ever seen for a small pantry. It needs cleaned, really. Um, but uh, but little pantry is better than no pantry. I do like the shelf up there that you can actually put stuff up on there for for decorations. All right, um, it is open to. Um, the living room, fireplace, um, little dining area here, okay? Um, so, the living area is actually very big, okay? That's a wood-burning fireplace. But all these windows in here get so much light in here, okay? And this is your little dining area. I love the bench, all right? You also have a, another shelf up here in front of that window. And then... Let's check out out back real quick, okay? You do have a small little patio here when you walk out your door. They have replaced some of the fencing here that looks like it might have been damaged, but all the all the fencing that has, was damaged has actually been replaced, so it's all in pretty good shape now, okay? Now you have this wooden deck out here, which is a nice size deck. Um, I mean, that's that's gotta be at least 30 feet long, um, probably 10 foot by 30 feet. All right, now they, they apparently tried to make some sort of a little walkway out here to a fire pit, um, but the yard is, 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 is a big yard. Like I said, you know, they do have some areas in the fencing that has been replaced. Um, we'll go over here. All right, show that it, it is fully fenced in. Okay. Now the roof doesn't look like it has been replaced recently. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape, but um, it does look like it's old. Okay, so that might be something that we um, would actually have to address in an offer or in a due diligence time period um, where we ask them to um, maybe give us an allowance, um, pay for half the roof, something like that. Because you do have like big piles of um, straw, pine straw on there, which is not good because that's going to hold moisture um, and eventually seep down into your, into your roof. All right, so let's go back inside the house here. We'll check out the rest of the downstairs. Okay, so the only one, there's only one bedroom downstairs and that is the master bedroom, which is right here um, on the side of your, off, off the side of your living room. Okay, um, new carpets. Um, you do have a big closet here, all right? But the funny thing is, is that this little door right here, all right? I mean, it's a small door. Um, it comes up to about my chest, but it is actually extra closet space. Okay. <laughs> Strange, I know, but, um, that could be helpful. All right. But you do have these two big closets here. Um, it actually is just one big closet, just has the doors. Okay. And then, um, then you have a small closet here, which is more of like a, a, a linen closet or towels and, and hand towels and things like that for your bathroom. So your bathroom doesn't actually have a door on the front here, okay? So there's your double sink. And you have your shower over here, walk-in shower to the left. And then you have your commode over here to the right, okay? 
So there's no door in here, but you know it's all part of your master bedroom. Um, you know, it needs a little love. The mirror looks like it needs to be replaced, um, but it's an older home. You know, built in 1986. Um, it's going to have some uh, some flaws to it, okay? Um, but it does need a little bit of love. Like I said, the new flooring, new carpet. I mean, it's a good start on on remodeling an older home. But I love all these windows. Love the open concept here. It's really really nice, okay? Um, before we go up the stairs, we're going to come over here because this is your your downstairs half bath, which is be your guest bathroom. All right, it's got new flooring in there, but um, it looks like it has a new mirror. But the um, the vanity needs probably is a little dated. Uh, commode looks like it's rather new. All right, but it's a small half bathroom. And then right across the hall here is actually your your laundry washer and dryer goes right here. Okay, and, and there is a shelf up here for um, detergent and things like that, okay? And then this door actually goes to your garage, your one car garage, all right? Um, if you got a small car, you could probably put it in here. Uh, you got a big truck, probably not, all right? But, um, you know, garage is a good place for storage, uh, lawnmower, things like that, since there is no shed out back, okay? So let's go upstairs. We'll take a look at the other two bedrooms. Like I said, um, new carpet. All right. I like this upstairs right here. Um, have a little bit of an area right here. I love this right here. The shelf that goes all the way across here. Okay. And when you come in your front door, it sees right there. So this shelf right here for knickknacks and decorations and things like that. I love the wood beams throughout the house. Um, those wood beams are actually in the master. I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, all right, so you have your, your upstairs um, bathroom. Um, new flooring, vanity still dated, shower still dated, but it's a bathroom. All right, your two spare bedrooms. One right here overlooks the front of the house. You do have your bifold doors closet. Both bedrooms have this bench in front of the windows. Great touch. I like that. All right, and then your other bedroom um, is a little bit smaller. Still has the bench out in front of the window. Just one window. Still has the bifold closet doors. Um, but it's a little bit smaller, okay? In the middle here, you do have a linen closet for towels and things like that for your bathroom. All right. Let's go down. I want to show you the beams in the uh, master real quick. Um, but, yeah, I love the open, you know, because these, these have these two-story um, ceilings right here. Um, then you got the slanted ceiling right there down to the wall. But I love the beams. It's a nice touch. Um, there's another beam actually in the kitchen. All right. I don't want to say there's another one in the bedroom, but I could be wrong. Oh, nope. There you go. So you got the big beam, um, two story ceiling in the bedroom master down here, uh, which makes the room feel so much bigger. Um, but it's, it's a nice touch. All right. All right, guys, this is 127 Broadleaf Drive. Um, I'm on the way to the next house, and uh, I'll send you guys these videos soon. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.